Good, e good evening, everybody. I'm aware that uh, I'm keeping you from your dinner, so I'll be quite brief. I, uh, I'm very sorry that I missed the beginning session. I spent uh, all of this morning with a group of 16 and 17 year old students from Assam who gave me this really beautiful scarf. And I was really inspired by those young people. Very, very bright, very interested in life. And so I'm only going to talk about, for about three minutes, about teaching. When I was a journalist, one of the golden rules of journalism was know your audience. So who am I writing for? Who am I making videos for? So it seems to me the golden rule of education is to know your audience. And these are your students. One of the things that I am very aware of about young people in this country, as in most other countries of the world, is their fixation, their passion, their excitement for this device I hold in my hand, the mobile phone. So all of the teaching I do now is focused on the mobile phone. Teaching people to do journalism with nothing but this magnificent tool, which keeps getting better and better and better. One of the things I find about teaching with a mobile phone is that it's a very intimate, very personal device. And when students use their mobile phone, they get really, really excited, passionate about what they're doing. Because they are tapping into something that's innate to being a human being, which is creativity. We are all creative beings. Some of us are very good at being creative in discovering, in, in excusing ourselves from being creative, but essentially we are all creative human beings. When people tap into their creativity, they get excited. And when they get excited, they learn for themselves. So two basic principles of education that I've followed for 25 years now. The first is more is caught than taught. In other words, students pick up more from the behavior of the teacher than what the teacher actually says. If the teacher wants the students to be punctual, the teacher will be punctual. If the teacher wants the students to be moral, the teacher will exhibit morality. The second point is the person who does the work does the learning. So if you spend hours preparing a lecture on a subject, you have done lots of learning, but that doesn't guarantee that the students have been learning. Your job is to excite the students to the point that they will learn for themselves. And that is the beauty of involving the mobile phone, because it's such a personal device. And that's what I will leave you with. You have the potential to reach your students, but you need to reach them at their level, at their context, at their level of excitement. You can tap into their creativity, and the mobile phone, to me, seems to be a perfect vehicle for doing that. I thank you for your time.